We've been reporting on comic industry troubles over the last few weeks and showing that the next shoe is just about to drop. There's been so many indicators that have been very bad. Of course, we had IDW earlier this year delisting from the stock exchange and then firing like a third of its employees in a uh, sort of crisis of needing money at that point. And then even following up by canceling a whole line of creator-owned projects because they can't even fund the stuff other than the licenses anymore. On top of that, uh, I talked to a retailer, and a big, big retailer, and of course reported on the fact that he said that there are a lot of problems with Marvel and DC just not selling and not bringing people into comic shops anymore. Uh, people who are making money in comic shops are not, and of course more and more of those are closing. So what's happening next? Uh, everybody's been speculating that maybe it's Aftershock Comics or Valiant that are going to be going under, and those things have had major problems themselves. But a lot of people don't even know about those companies, so I haven't really reported on them too much. So the big one we have here, though, is Dark Horse. Now, Dark Horse was purchased last year by a video game company out of Europe, and there are troubling signs to come for what's happening there. Now, this is the company. Uh, Volition staff on Twitter are reporting that the parent company Embracer, that's the company that bought Dark Horse, has just closed the 30-year-old studio behind Saints Row and Red Faction with mass layoffs. Now, those are big video game properties. So having layoffs in those departments does not bode well for a little small comic book company on the flip side. If you look at this here, have verified this with a few staff who saw this, it's sadly accurate. It's awful to see a, such a historic studio close. Red Faction was a series dear to me after growing up with it with my late twin. Thoughts of everyone in the studio and hope you land on your feet soon. And, and here's your uh, official statement of the studio closure. Now, what people are speculating about this, because if they're closing something of this magnitude, Dark Horse has to have a bunch of stuff that is, of course, not profitable because the comic book industry is way less profitable than the video game industry. It seems to reason that if Embracer is having problems financially, Dark Horse is going to see a lot of cuts starting to come to its product line very, very soon. Now, Dark Horse has picked up the Star Wars license off of IDW that they had before. And of course, Marvel's really dialing down a lot of their Star Wars stuff and, and offloading it to Dark Horse as a publisher, a bad sign for Marvel Comics as it is. And Dark Horse, of course, uh, had a bunch of other licenses, which they lost prior to this. And so they're really relying a lot on creator-owned stuff, which is typically not the most exciting uh, and most uh, profitable stuff from a company standpoint out there because the creator-owned stuff doesn't have the brand to draw people to just buy it based on habit. Uh, they've been doing a lot of art books based on, you know, uh, different video games and things like that, too. And I think that stuff's kind of kept them afloat and kept their comic line afloat a lot of these years as well. So we'll see how this goes. And if Dark Horse does see some signs of failing, we will be the first to report on it here. You can count on us. So make sure to hit that like and subscribe button because the comic industry is falling and collapsing at rates we've never seen before. As it's happening, though, of course, we're making our own books. And this is my fund my comic, my friends. Flying Sparks is my superhero effort, which Kursova Magazine has said is the best superhero story of the last decade. It's five full volumes long, and this is the companion. Now, as a, a companion, this is not an art book or process or anything like that. These are full stories and full issues that are just standalone issues uh, and standalone stories that are really good. If you've not read my series before, it's a great place to start. But I also offer the original volume as a place to start on this campaign, the complete Flying Sparks, including this volume, and my full comic library collection. We've been building a company here and building comics on a level that nobody else in indie comics has. This is 11 full graphic novels in this collection, and we have a lot more to come. We work faster, we work harder than everybody else out here. We are the alternative to the mainstream industry. If you want to support something independent and something cool, this is a spot to go. There's links in the description below. Thank you guys so much for supporting us so far. Really appreciate you comic fans out there. See you soon.